All right, so now that we've got our web uh, page folder set up, our indexed uh, text file, um, our pictures all in, in that web page folder, what we're going to do is we need to start building the code. Okay, so the, the code, this is in HTML. So we're going to actually tell the computer that we're, that we're using HTML with our opening what's called a tag. So the tags are separated by the uh, lesser than and greater than sign. Okay, so you got the lesser than and greater than sign, and in between those you put your tags. So you got HTML. So that's a tag right there. That lets the computer know right off the bat that this is the language that we're using, and uh, then the rest of the HTML code is structure. So it lets the uh, lets the uh, the software that's reading the web page know that this is this certain section. This is maybe what the color uh, the color that we want to use is. This is maybe the uh, the picture that we want to have here. Uh, th these type of things. So it, it structures it and it puts content into the HTML as well. So one of the first structural um, things that we put is is for our header. So we put head right there. And in the head we want a title. So we do a title. Okay. So these are all opening. We're opening tags up. And I'll show you uh, here just with the title. So the title, this title we're going to do introduction to accounting. Okay. Okay, that's going to be my title. Now we're going to go ahead and close the title tag. So we close them in the order, uh, reverse order of how we opened them up. Okay, so the title was the last tag. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close that. Okay, and that's the closing. Okay, so we close our tags. Uh, with a few exceptions, uh, the, these the structure of opening, opening tag right here, and then closing it like this with the with a little forward slash in there, is how we do it. Okay, so then now we're gonna go ahead and close our head, our header. Okay. All right, and then we're going to, um, so I, right at this point, what I'm going to show you is how to test your web page out, how to test it out so, to see if it's working. Okay, so in order to test it out, we need to change this text file into an HTML uh, file. So you can see right here, it says dot, uh, .txt. What we're going to do, we're going to hit file, we're going to do save as. Okay, we see the TXT, we're going to get rid of that, and instead we're going to put HTM. Okay, so we're actually going to have the T the text file and the HTML file, the .htm file, in, in the same folder. Both of them are going to be called index, but we'll be able to tell by the extension which one's which. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and hit save there. All right. And then we can open our folder here, and there it is, right there. There's our .htm, and it whatever your default uh, web browser is, that's usually what the the symbol is going to be on the uh, .htm. Double click that, and it will open up. So here's here it is, right here. It's blank, white. We haven't put any content in it, but we see up here at the top, intro, introduction to accounting. That's the title that I just gave this web page, so it's working. So that's how you test it out. Okay, so you you got to save uh, your HTM, uh, and then you can open it up and just see what your how your web page is coming. Um, then you got to go back to your text file here so the, the text file okay, now we're going to go ahead and continue on with our code so what we're going to do is we're going to set up another tag here it's going to be called body and within the opening tag we're actually going to 
tell uh, the soft tell the computer what color uh, BG color so background color uh, equals what, what we want it to be so we've already looked up our hex number okay so that was in the beginning on the websites we can look it up the background color that I wanted was four zeros two little two F's and that is uh, the background color okay and then I want my text on that so I have some good contrast to be all uh, zeros there are six of them that means black okay now we're gonna go ahead and so we got our body opening tag there then we're gonna go ahead and open up a uh, div a division tag and we're gonna say in this division where we want uh, the style We want the text to be aligned, uh, aligned in the center. So we want it to be centered. Okay. So every every little uh, semicolon and and quotation mark is important on these. And you can test these out as well by doing the test, the saving to the .htm and then opening it up in your web browser to see how it looks. Okay. So H1. So now that we're we're here in our, oh, I forgot to put the lesser than sign there. Okay. Now that we're in our H, our this uh, division or this section. So div divisions just are different sections divided up. The H1, it, it uh, tells us what size, and you can look in the documentation in the um, homework, what size of text we're going to be using. So right here where H1 is large, and we're going to say, again, introduction to accounting. And then we're going to go ahead and close that H1. So okay, so that's going to be uh, it's going to be centered up at the top in H1 size uh, text, which is pretty large. Um, intro, introduction to accounting. Now under that, what we're going to want to put is we want to put an image. So we're going to put our first picture here. So image, IMG, we're going to tell it what the source is. Okay, so our source, it's going to be in the same folder as, as uh, this, this. so it's going to look in the same folder for a picture called, I remember I named my picture, picked1.jpg, uh, and you got to get the extension correct. It's got to be in the same folder. It's got to have that extension. Okay, so exact same title, exact same extension. If you don't, it's not going to show up. And if for some reason the link breaks on our picture, what we're going to do is we're going to put some what's called alternative text, okay? And the alternative text that we're going to have it uh, show is going to be, um, we're going to say, Accounting picture. Okay, that's that's what we're gonna have it put just in case the the picture doesn't show up or if it doesn't render quickly enough, whatever the case is. And we're gonna include around that picture a border. We're gonna say two. The two is just the how thick, how thin. You can play with that a little bit. Okay, so the image tag, what we're going to do is we actually uh, open it and close it within the same. So that's one of the exceptions. And then we're going to go ahead and close our div tag that we did up there. Okay, and then we're going to open another div up. 
Uh, and then this one, this one's going to be a little different. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to put like a paragraph, okay? And so the paragraph is going to be, uh, we're going to go ahead and tab in here. We're going to put block quote. That's going to be our opening, uh, which just basically means we're going to do a paragraph here. Uh, we're going to include a P for paragraph, and then we're going to then we're going to include some text. So we're going to say accounting is fun. Also, a must for all business majors here are some different accounting Go ahead and hit enter. Uh, it's just so you can see what I'm putting here. There are some different accounting types to consider. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and close our P tag. Okay. So there, that we've got that all set up, and we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and transition into a list, an unordered list, which is basically bullet points. So I'm gonna show you how that works here. Um,